Religion governs the way of life of any religious community. When a community lives in a specific location over time, the community develops cultural and social habits such as food habits, dress codes, celebrations, and cremation rituals, among other things. And then over the years or decades, social-cultural behavior of that particular community governed by their religion gets associated with the place as well. The culture of a particular community has grown to be the culture of that particular place or region. This is the way civilization grows. But here's a catch. The culture may have expanded itself, but the community it originated in still remains the sole owner of it. This can be understood with yoga. Today, the entire world celebrates International Yoga Day. As yoga expanded its footprints, a new trend emerged whereby yoga was claimed to be neither Vedic nor Hindu in origin. However, Bhagwan Shiva, known as Adi Yogi, is said to have imparted the knowledge of yoga to mankind, thereby earning the title of First Guru or Adi Yogi. The first reference to yoga was made in the Rig Veda. The same is the case with Garbha. Namaste and welcome to TFI Post. I'm your host, Piyush. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. If you're watching us on Facebook, do like, share and subscribe to the page. Let's begin with the video report. In the past few days, several incidents have been reported of Muslim men gate crashing Garba venues, an attempt that was fiercely countered by Hindus. A man in his 20s was held for making inappropriate comments towards girls and hiding his identity while attending a Garba event in Indore, Madhya Pradesh. In a second such incident, Bajrang Dal caught eight Muslim youth at Garba venues for being involved in immoral activities. Dal's leader has also claimed that the group was hiding their identities. The incidents are not just limited to Indore. In Ahmedabad as well, a Muslim man was held for entrapping Hindu girls. Another incident was reported where men from other communities were found filming Hindu girls at the Garba event while pretending to be Hindus. The Garba organizers and the Hindu organizations have a clear stand on the issue. Identity cards have been made mandatory and only Hindus are being allowed to enter the Garbha Pandal with a strict identification process. However, these multiple incidences over a short period of time have given birth to another debate fueled by liberals. The most heated question is, when Garbha is being played in a public place at a community level, why are only Hindus allowed? Why isn't the Gangna Jamuna Tehzeeb not respected? Well, let's first understand the concept of Garbha. What is Garbha? To state it simply, Garbha is a dance form that originated in the villages of Gujarat and has religious importance for Sanatan Dharma as it is only performed during Navratri. Navratri is a Hindu festival in which feminine form of divinity is worshipped for nine nights. Shakti is worshipped in nine forms. From the sword wielding Kal Ratri to creator of the universe Ma Kushmanda. While some fast for nine days, some follow a strict Niramish diet. During this time, Garba is performed. The word Garba originated from the Sanskrit word Garbha, meaning womb. So during the Navratra, a clay lantern with light inside called Garbadeep is kept at the center around which Garba, a dance with clapping, is performed in circles. It has two symbolic meanings. First, the Garbadeep is the symbol of the body within which divinity resides. Sometimes the image of Ma Durga is at the center of the circle in lieu of the Garbadeep. Second, the dance is performed in circles, depicting the cycle of life from birth to death to rebirth again. And during the entire cycle, one thing remains constant, around which everything revolves the power of divinity itself. Garba, being a religious practice, is danced barefoot and is performed to devotional songs sung to praise Mata Rani. With globalization, a lot has changed in India, and Garba was not secluded either. A dance which is performed for Ma Durga slowly became a thing of entertainment. While the majority celebrates Garba 
the way it should be the beginning of the internet age has marked the degradation and culture needs to be preserved many people today view garba as a reason for fun and frolic many malpractices are observed like extortion of donations high volumes with no concern for others entry of filmy songs rather than devotional ones garba was once traditionally performed in customary attire in which the body moved in a particular rhythm however in the name of garba all manner of steps sometimes vulgar are now performed garba has also become a place of mischief with incidents of inappropriate touching increasing each day to add on to this in the corporate culture garba nights and dandiya nights are being organized in societies and mncs which have no connection with worshiping mata durga the cultural events are held to eat and drink in the name of garba nights the need of the hour is to preserve the culture of garba from being a b town party while the organizers are at work it is necessary to communicate the significance and sacredness of garba to the general public garba is as much hindu as it can be and it is required to preserve its sanctity thus preventing further distortion of the sanatan dharma while many argue about the propagation of garba culture the intent of muslim men who entered the garba venue with false identities raises severe questions why were they there it is not to worship the divinity as in their religion there is only one supreme power and no one should bow down before anyone else so for entrapping young girls maybe in the mainstream media language this is called love jihad in recent years it has been observed that garba venues have become an adda of such malpractices here the words of usha thakur the minister of tourism and culture said that garba programs have become places of love jihad and muslims will be welcomed at garbas if their sacred scripture quran permits them to pursue idol worship there has been a constant attempt to revive hindu festivals by the followers of sanatan dharma holi has become a festival of color that can be played by all diwali becomes a festival of lights while there is no problem with these festivals expanding and appealing to a lot of people the problem arises when the sanatani stories associated with these festivals and their religious importance and values that they seek to impart are sidelined in the wake of fun and enjoyment festivals bring us together but they also convey a message further the burden of maintaining india's ancient synergetic culture a hindu festival is chosen by liberal community this is a move to separate religion from our festivals garba is not just a folk dance garba is a way to worship the divinity and the feminine goddess ma durga the shakti the secularization of hindu festivals is something that has done the utmost damage people unaware of religious beliefs and cultural practices enter to celebrate and end up maligning them thus one thing should be made very clear garba is a hindu celebration garba is deeply associated with sanatan dharma and its preservation is necessary